Am I going to get lucky? Another Fleming grimace for us. He is hopeful. He's giving it another sniff. Perhaps the lady is in estrus and willing to mate with him. Guys, I'm going to go forward ever so slightly. Oh, I was hoping I could roll. Sorry, Dave. There we go. Just a slightly better view for us. Now, one thing that I didn't do, and I will finish up discussing now because it's very relevant to what we're watching at the moment. He's testing to see if she's in estrus. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Opening up the cavity to the vomeral nasal organ, drawing the scent in, and essentially allowing him to... Oh my goodness, he's really making extra specially sure that he's... <laughs> well, I suppose it makes sense. <laughs> am I... Is this female in estrus, or am I imagining it? She doesn't seem to want me. But I'm sure I'm smelling Easter smells. What to do with my life? Shame, boy. He probably approached her. He probably has smelt that she's coming into Easter's. <laughs> and that she is probably responsible for all of the growling that we heard. So I suppose it pays to absolutely double, triple check before you make an advance that's going to be met by teeth and claws. Which is what our Birmingham boy seems to be doing. He is really making extra specially sure. He hasn't made a mistake yet. Yeah? Looks like he's snarling. It's one of the most awesome images of a male lion, that, or any animal, but, well, maybe not any animal. Kudu look a bit ridiculous. But male lions look really very cool when they do that, exposing their long canines. They look like they're snarling, scrunching up their faces. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. What a stunning morning. The sun is coming out. The air smells fresh and clean. And we've got a male lion. Goodness me, he really isn't taking any chances here. It's, it's a morning of the Fleming Grimace. Now we have a vomeral nasal organ, just like our lions do. But they do not function anymore. So essentially we've lost the capability within our brains to interpret those signals. We've sacrificed those sorts of senses for other such things, such as learning and reading and intelligence and however else we've supposedly developed as a species. But we did once upon a time have a vomeral nasal organ that would have been capable of tasting smells. And it seems as though... He's made extra specially sure, and he's now laying his head upon his legs in disappointment. It's not one of the it's not one of the females with the cubs. She doesn't have any suckle marks. Oh, one more time, just in case. Yes, no, maybe. Nah. Not going to get lucky right now, but he will soon. So it's either Amber Eyes or the youngest female in the group neither of whom have cubs. Oh, and it does bring me back to Mike's question. So, 